السلام علیکم میرا نام ہے محنور اور آج میں بیٹھی ہوئی وسیم اکرم اینڈ شنیا کے ساتھ دا پاور کپل آف پاکستان اینڈ وی گو ٹاک ٹو دیم اباؤٹ منی بیک گارنٹی میرا پہلا سوال ہے کہ منی بیک گارنٹی جنریٹنگ اے لاٹ آف بز ان پاکستان بٹ دا ٹو آف یو آر کرنٹلی ان آسٹریلیا رائٹ ناؤ وائی از دیٹ So I, uh, after, during COVID, uh, Australia was open and uh, obviously remember Pakistan was quite closed and everything was online and our daughter had to start her reception year and she missed the whole year because we, hadn't, we didn't work out which school she was going to be in and so we didn't want her to, uh, you know, stay online. So Australia, as you know, had no COVID back then. So we moved, I moved to Australia uh, to put her into school and she missed a whole year of school and we've been traveling back and forth since then. So she's in school here, but every time there's a break, we come to Pakistan, Al-Wazim comes here and it was her, his turn to come here. <laughs> so are you guys planning on spending Eid in Australia as well? Yes, we are because Ayla's school is up on the holidays for a week and a half and then the school starts and uh, I don't want her to miss school. That's why I learned with kids, they, they, they need routine, they like routine and she's eight, eight and a half years old, going on 15 obviously, <laughs> but... <laughs> and we actually have uh, a lot of Pakistani friends here in community and we also, um, our parents, we're, we're spending Eid with my parents and Isla's grandma and we also have our son here as well. So. The two of you are considered as Pakistan's power couple and right now your 10th wedding anniversary is coming up, mashallah. How did you guys get this far and with the cultural differences between the two of you? I've got a wedding anniversary coming. <laughs> Stop it, you go. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's in August. <laughs> no, I'm with you guys. Good one, thank you. That's the one favor paid off. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, it was, I, I yeah, you started. I'm Australian now and I'm more Pakistani, I think. Yeah, I think, I think we adapted, we tried to learn uh, in the culture. One uh, other culture, ka hume, You know, میں بھی سیکھنا چاہتا تھا شریرا لرن آبویسلی ان دا بگننگ اٹ واز ٹف فار بوتھ آف اس اٹ واز اٹ واز انٹ ایزی بٹ اگین وین یو این لو اینڈ وین یو میری سم ون یو یو لو اینڈ یو وانٹ ٹو لرن دے کلچر ٹو اینڈ دیٹس فور ایگزیکٹلی وی بوتھ ڈیٹ ٹو ایچ ادر اینڈ آئی بین ان پاکستان یو نو ٹین الیون ایئرز اینڈ اینڈ بوائز آئی ریز دا بوائز اینڈ دیو گرون اپ اینڈ آئی تھنک آر فاؤنڈیشن از اسٹارٹنگ دا یگ ون ہیئر اینڈ بیکاز وی سیم ایز بین ہی کمنگ ہیئر فار ریلیشنشپنیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیسٹیس
uh, I can understand people can assume whatever they want is their opinion by watching a trailer. जब ट्रेलर पहला टीजर आया था लोगों ने स्ट्रेट में मनी हाइस्ट मनी हाइस्ट पता ही नहीं फिल्म क्या है तो मनी हाइस्ट मनी हाइस्ट की कॉपी बिल्कुल मनी हाइस्ट को देख रहे थे इट इज अस्ट Yes, <laughs> but it's much, not, much more. It's in the end, there's a message as well. Those films. I think a few messages. Few so. messages, and there are a lot of characters, lot of characters, a lot of actors in that movie. I've seen trailer me dekha hoga, uski cast me dekha hoga, and I, I, I hardly met quite. I mean, quite a few of them because my shoot was for nine days. I did my shoot and then I moved on to different, uh, uh, you know, जो भी मैंने करना था ज़िंदगी में. I think the whole film was shot in one month. Uh, I think, is or, it? or I don't know, one yeah. one someone's part was one person's part was one month or twenty five days. Yeah. Um, it was quite. It was it was very action packed. Like our whole, all our bits were in nine days. Nine days shoot, yeah. So, but we worked around the clock for nine days. But nevertheless, not everybody's going to love this film. You can't get a film that every single person loves. So everyone's going to put their two cents in, and that's fine. But I think more people are going to like it than not. Both of you are very well-established public figures, Shania with your philanthropy and Vasim with your television appearances and commercials. Why did you choose to venture into acting? I've been yeah, it's a valid question. I've been acting for 20, 25 years uh, uh, for on, on TV commercials for different brands, and then before that, as a cricketer, I also was an actor. जब आप ऑन फील्ड होते हो एज अ बोलर कहाँ पे आपने गुस्सा दिखाना है वे यू वॉन्ट टू बी एंग्री वे यू वॉन्ट टू बी एक्साइटेड वे यू हैव टू यू नो हैव अ गो एट वन ऑफ योर फील्डर्स यू ड्रॉप द कैच सो ऑल दिस वॉज पार्ट ऑफ मी एंड आई आई एंजॉय एक्टिंग आई एंजॉय वॉचिंग मूवीज आई एंजॉय वॉचिंग यू नो एवरीथिंग ऑन टेलीविजन और टेलीविजन तो हार्डली सी बट यू नो सारे नेटफ्लिक्स प्राइम हो गया स्टैंड टी वी ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आई वॉच वेरी डिफरेंट मूवीज टू सो आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू ट्राई एक्टिंग एंड ट्राई टू फैसल जिसने मुझे कन्विंस किया है ये नहीं कि अब अब यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्किंग व्हाई एट दिस एज आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक अ करियर आउट ऑफ इट इट्स जस्ट व्हाई नॉट लेट्स गिव इट अ गो सी हाउ इट गोस सो लाइक यू सेड दिस इज अ स्टार स्टडीड कास्ट विद पीपल लाइक फवाद खान आयशा उमर मिका जुल्फकार तो मुझे एक बात बताएं सेट पे सबसे ज्यादा शरारते कौन करता था शरारते सेट पे आई थिंक मेरे साथ तो फॉर सम ऑड रीजन एवरीबॉडी वाज बिट काइंड ऑफ रिस्पेक्टफुल नोबडी डिड एनी यू नो शरारत विद मी But everybody was relaxed. It was a lot of jokes, a lot of fun. They made me comfortable. Uh, you know, Faisal and his team, Fawad, Mikal, just to just to my Mila, just with me, shoot scene. And of course, my job was to make her comfortable, and I did. <laughs> yeah. So, Shania, this was also your first film. So, we really want to know what was the experience like, and was there any particular actor you bonded with the most on set? So, my first, I think, friend on the set was Kieran Malik. She, uh, she was really nice, and she, she. Uh, Met me and and she, she it was like we knew each other and she was she was wonderful and we have mutual friends in common so that was great um, I think Fawad Fawad Khan uh, Fawad Khan he definitely made me feel comfortable on set I met him second time I met him for this movie was when we were doing our scene. And um, it was quite because I think, like I said before, uh, Faisal really wanted to capture my natural um, reaction to, to things. So he wanted to, to keep me surprised all the time. So uh, he, he used to not tell me too much and just put me in set. And um, and I rehearsed my lines obviously, but yeah, uh, Fawad was amazing, and he uh, just you know said just follow my lead, and I did. I felt very comfortable because there was one scene where we were on a dining table, about eight of us, and it was between me and Fawad. There were a lot of, uh, you know, dialogues. And it's very funny, while we are, but uh, uh, Fawad that did great. Everybody, else, I mean, everywhere, everyone did everything. Yeah, everything was like. Everywhere you look, from every angle, there was someone extremely talented. I remember yeah. laughing at Ali Sabina and. Yeah. Uh, Uh, they were doing this scene, this elevator scene, and oh my god, I was in stitches and I couldn't even hear what they were saying. So uh, you know, there are these, you know, when you have such good actors, it uh, I think the the show just comes together. Yeah. So it sounds so exciting, and it definitely makes me want to go and watch the film. Okay, Shneya. So you were speaking to independent Urdu, and you said that you want to venture further into films and even into script writing. So I have a question. Does this mean that there's a biopic in the works as well? I don't mind having a biopic, but like I said, you need a budget for it. You need some big company to back it up. 
you can't make yeah. biopics without any budgets without so there's no point unless there's a massive budget of it somebody's with but people will definitely want to invest if it's a film about Vaseem Akram and Shanaira i suppose if i have my, if my biopic has to come out it has to be a pakistani people a pakistani cast pakistani directors we have talent no doubt Uh, but I don't think you should limit it for just a Pakistani no, no. audience because this he's so well known yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and in Australia everyone loves him and England everyone loves you everywhere you go you have very very um strong cricket uh fan club and and he's a man man you know everyone loves him they can't believe they're meeting him when they're meeting him and even my friends who I went to school with and my parents friends are always like this is you know you you were my hero and I watched you and you're you're here so the reason why I really wanted to interview you guys was because aside from having successful careers both of you are very vocal about social issues including things that people don't often talk about Vaseem I particularly wanted to ask you about this because in 2022 you made headlines when you spoke about your cocaine addiction in your autobiography so why do you think it was necessary to talk about this we don't have any concept in pakistan unfortunately or subcontinent not just pakistan yes. about mental health issues of sportsmen sportsmen none whatsoever so i was retired by then so obviously nobody's going to look uh, look up to me as far as the cricket board concerned it's nobody's fault it's my fault so i we come from a culture where we where we everything we say ke chupa do mitti dal do that's what we come from you know don't tell anyone hide it quiet be quiet and uh, but my thing was i wanted to write an honest book about myself and uh, if i can motivate one person anywhere in the world if i can make a comeback so can they and for that reason one thing i've learned company matters aapki company aapko define karti as a person Yes this was a very moving explanation and I completely agree with you mental health matters so while we're on the topic of sports I also want to ask you about the recent comments Shoaib Akhtar made about our current cricket captain Babar Azam in an interview Shoaib Akhtar said that Babar Azam should be one of the biggest brands of Pakistan but he's not because he can't speak well with the media so do you agree with this statement media skills are very important as part of the job as a being a captain of pakistan or any cricket team in the world any any international cricket team in general but babar azam like i said he's a young captain he's learning he's is quite bright and as a batter as a batsman he's one of the best in the world he's our star and we have to treat him like superstar we don't have to worry about ke english nahi aati hai ye nahi aata his bat his his actual you know bat is his uski zuban jo hai uska balla hai aur wo jab batting karta hai it's like poetry and uh, i support babar as a captain i think uh, he's got bright future ahead of him as a batter to yes but as a captain as well i come from an era jahan sare kaptan banna chahte the aur 11 ke 11 wanted to be a captain and they did seven of them did for one one series but for once pakistan cricket team is supporting their captain and i'm proud of these boys i really am yes i definitely agree with you and we should all back our boys right now so coming back to the film if you could give us three reasons why we should go watch money back guarantee what would they be the first reason is your money back guarantee kaban baba what's the reason second reason uh, one it's eid and everything else is closed so if you've seen all the family and you want to escape <laughs> get down to the movie cinema too we've come out of like covid and everything so we need to be out there supporting local cinemas and um you know getting cinema back back to pakistan and three because it's awesome <laughs> we yeah, need yeah. to be back yeah we had a great time i'm so special uh his his direction uh, the way he wrote the script uh with all the actors they were involved abhi maine promo dekha hai fawad ka aur faisal ka was something different with the editing each other with the glass in the end so that's faisal that's why you should watch that movie and let, let us know how we did because this is my first film but it could easily be my last film <laughs> so <laughs> wrapping up we want to end this with a very important question who would you pick to play you in a film and what would the genre be and shinera you have to pick a pakistani actress oh oh wow who would you pick somebody has to play me because yeah. you know aapka yeah one <laughs> pakistani actor jay for doinch ka and i have to find a blonde one yes 
why don't we just play ourselves and then it will be easy. Maybe we'll be good at it. No, I reckon, I really think that if there, it doesn't need to be a biopic of our life. I reckon our life is, is pretty much told. You still have us here and we're, we're still living our life. But I would love to see a movie that comes out where a, a, a Pakistani man marries a, 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 a female from abroad or a, a, a female Pakistan, a Pakistani female marries a, um, a foreigner. And um, and it shows a love story of you know the foreigner coming to Pakistan and seeing what I saw when I came. No, on a serious note, we have so many good actors. Anybody can act. It doesn't have to be six foot two. Uh, I suppose uh, we have to pick any. I suppose uh, uh, you know the main name आते हैं आपका एक फवाद स्ट्रीट भी आता है but what about Bilal? Uh, Bilal Bilal Abbas? No. Tall, good, big, you know. Okay, Bilal Abbas, then it is. <laughs> what about Wahaj Ali? Or what about Wahaj Ali? Wahaj Ali. Uh, man, I don't watch TV. I'm going to ask you, who do you think would play us? If you're asking me, then I think Bilal Abbas should play Vaseem Akram. And for Shanera, let's go with Sajal Ali. Yeah, I believe she's a good actress. She's very young though. <laughs> <laughs> I was 30 when I came to Pakistan. I don't think we could make Sajid Ali uh, old if we tried. <laughs> Maybe yeah. if there's a uh, room there for a mature aged uh, actress. Because us women, we only get better, remember that. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us your time. This was a very entertaining interview. Uh, Money Bank Guarantee is coming to cinemas across Pakistan on 21st April, so please go watch it. Thank you guys, thank you, and thank you. And Eid Mubarak and... Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak.